Hi, welcome to the third mouth video lesson. The target for this lesson will be to arrive to a textual analysis using 2D image in transmission. Uh, to arrive to this goal, we have first to see how to calibrate the instrument, determine the instrumental function, uh, starting from uh, an image collected on a standard. So we actually have one image here the cerium oxide, cerium oxide collected on a MAR detector at the APS uh, high energy station, okay, with synchrotron, and uh, the image is in MAR proprietary format, so MAR research. We need first to, uh, we have two ways to do it. Or we load the image in Fit2D and we convert it, we cake it directly in spectra, but uh, if we do this, uh, we lose the possibility to calibrate it inside mount. We have to already know all the parameters for the calibration. Or, uh, second, what we will do is we convert the image in a format suitable to be imported by the ImageJ plugin of mount. And ImageJ recognizes a lot of uh, image format, but not the uh, unluckily not the MAR research proprietary format and then uh, we load it through MAUD, we cake uh, and we proceed with the analysis. So to convert the image we can either use again Fit2D to convert for example in TIFF or uh, I will show you how to use instead the MARS MAR Research Utility. You can download this utility on the MAR Research web page. I have put uh, them already in my bin directory, so uh, I will use MARCVT. So you see MARCVT, uh, we, can we have a lot of uh, uh, command and I can convert in TIFF directory, but uh, the TIFF here by default is 8-bit uh, and for this image I need 16-bit. Uh, so I will convert instead in row 16, so 16-bit, so let's do it. So I do again CVT, then minus row 16 and the name of the image. That was uh, actually okay. Here I copy and paste. Okay. And done. Okay, if we look, uh, actually, here is done. Okay, now I can exit from the terminal and I. Uh, Get a, so I put everything is inside here, so I have the raw image. Now I start mount. Okay, starting mount will load the, the last analysis we work it with. Uh, yes, the ALZRC of yesterday. So I start uh, a new one, okay? New one, first I go to the data set and I have to define my instrument and load the data. I prefer to first define the instrument, so it is a diffraction instrument, I edit, and then what I set, for example, this I will call APS. Um, I don't remember the name of the station, sorry. Uh, I don't need any intensity calibration, uh, but I need uh, an angular calibration because I will load uh, in mount uh, and uh, cake, but uh, uh, I will maintain the, the, the pattern not calibrated directly, so preserving the original coordinate inside the image, and so I need here to use uh, this uh, uh, flat image transmission this is for calibrate to transform a flat image transmission coordinate in uh, 
two theta coordinate, so uh, I need to put the detector distance. I will use a millimeter, and approximately this was uh, the the distance between the sample and the detector. The mark was uh, around one meter, a little bit more. We will see later. Okay, so I suppose center the center displacement, everything zero. Okay, now here the geometry. I can put a symmetrical lower transmission or uh, image to the. They are. Uh, nearly the same, so let's use uh, the symmetrical lower transmission okay, the measurement actually is only 2 theta this is important, we we do not move the sample, it's not a theta to theta measurement we only record 2 theta and the sample is fixed even if you rotate the sample, this is like a device share or is in transmission, you record uh, not in theta to theta, so only to theta. The source, uh, we do not use tube. Uh, actually, here we can put directly synchrotron. And the wavelength, actually, the wavelength I put over here to remember. So it's this very short wavelength. Yes, this was high energy. OK, let's put the energy, the wavelength here for this uh, experiment. Okay, the detector, we we actually, okay, this uh, inside mouth we put standard, it is actually no use, this one. And the instrument broadening, for example, Caliotti, okay, could be, um, this was uh, for the Black Brent Tunnel, remember? So actually, what we do normally in uh, transmission, we don't have a symmetry, or we will check later if we have, uh, so I put everything zero here. And normally, uh, we start from a much lower value for the Caliotti coefficient as a synchrotron normally has a much higher resolution than or a sharper instrument, a sharper peak than a normal instrument. Okay, well, let's leave as it is here. Uh, actually, okay, it's better also maybe to reset even the, these two coefficients because we will be at very low 2 theta and we start from a constant value. Okay, well, this is just a start.